It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. So about a year ago, I made a tutorial that explains how to live stream on your Facebook account. And it was fairly popular and a bunch of comments were rolling in and I noticed a pattern and that was sort of like what Marcus Lopez asks in comments. He says, how do I stream it on my Facebook page? Because when I go live on mobile, it shows up on my profile page, but not on my gaming page. So if you stick with me on this tutorial, you'll walk away with a clear and easy process that will allow you to bring in the OBS live stream feed into your Facebook account and have it show up on your custom Facebook page. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. If you want to learn OBS Studio or any hardware or software that makes your live stream super fun and cool for your viewers, you have found the right channel. Subscribe and click the bell for new video notifications. We will be covering the following topics in this tutorial. We'll discuss lightly why this problem exists, why this process is so difficult, and what to do if this video becomes obsolete. Then I will go into the setup process, and after finishing that, I will show you how to bring the feed in from OBS and bring it into your Facebook page. And at the end of this video, I'll discuss a common Facebook requirement when setting up these pages that if you don't have it all set up and figured out, it's gonna put the brakes on this whole tutorial, all right? I have concluded that Facebook usability is really difficult. And I think the reason why is that they're so heavily focused on innovation and new processes and new ways to do things on their website that you may know something one month and not know how to do it the next because they're always making changes. So if you find that this video no longer is valid for one reason or another, I've got to know. So if you don't mind, let me know in comments and tell me, hey, Scott, this video doesn't work anymore or maybe send me an email at youtube at bluefoxcreative.com and just let me know so I can circle the wagons and work on a new tutorial that works, okay? Thanks. Okay, we're gonna discuss the setup process. I've logged into my Facebook account and there are two ways to go about this and I wanna show you clearly what's going on. So the first thing you do, regardless of either way, you have to click your pages icon up here at the top, okay? To the right of the home icon, click pages, and it takes you to a display of all your available pages. I've got a couple here. I'm gonna click the Alliance of Video Excellence. It takes me to this page, and as I scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a interface here, and it says Live Event Job Offer Add. If you click that Live button, it'll take you to this page, and then you select go live on this left square here, hit select, and it takes you into the interface. And this is where you wanna be. Let's go back and do it again. I'll show you another way to do it. Same process, click the flag from your main page, your profile page, click your page that you wanna to stream to, once again. And on the left, you'll see something called publishing tools. If you click publishing tools, it'll take you into a new domain called business.facebook.com and there's a gray vertical navigation. There's something called More Tools. Click that. It goes into a sub-selection navigation that's also vertical, and we want to select Creator Studio, which gives you this cool page, and at the top, as you can see, there's a button called Go Live, and if you click that, boom, it takes you to the live interface for the Alliance of Video Excellence. Just hit Select. <laughs> Now that I've showed you how to get to the Create Live Video page for your custom page, now I wanna show you how to add the OBS feed into it. But before I do that real quick, I just wanna to lightly touch on all the parameters on this page because there's, there's more than meets the eye. You don't have to use a third-party program like OBS, by the way. If you just click the webcam button here, it'll prompt you to select a camera and a microphone so that you can just connect directly to Facebook and you won't need OBS, so you have that capability. If you wanna use OBS, you wanna select the streaming software page here and then copy the stream key, and I'll show you how to do that in one second, but before we do that, I wanna let you know there are advanced settings at the bottom where you can designate to have a persistent stream key, which I wouldn't recommend because if somebody gets hold of it, they'll be able to live stream to your account forever. I don't know that I would do that. And then you can select a backup stream as well. Uh, you also have some settings here. Here's a stream, a bunch of stream settings. I would recommend going with low latency because that means there's very little delay. 
which will improve interactivity with your live stream. You have a set of viewer settings that you can review, comment settings, live tab settings. You also have interactivity where you can add polls and questions and graphics. And I believe that this pertains to you connecting directly to the Facebook page with your own camera and microphone because this stuff can be recreated in OBS Studio. So, you know, if you're connected with OBS, I don't know that this would be, you know, would be used as much. And then finally, you have a distribution set of uh, parameters here. And, and if you click cross post, you can select other pages to live stream to them as well, which is super cool. And there's also a sharing to a uh, groups capability. And I would make sure that the group is solid with you doing this before pulling the trigger on that just to make sure you don't piss anybody off. All right. So let's go back now real quick and connect OBS Studio to this page. So let's click the stream setup button at the top and click the streaming software button. And before we actually copy the stream key to OBS, I want to make sure that there's a title and a description write up just to make sure that that's in place. And we'll copy the stream key, go into OBS Studio, go into settings on the right, click the stream icon on the left, and in the service pull down, select Facebook Live, highlight the dots in the stream key field, and then right click and hit paste and paste a new key in there, hit apply and okay. Now I've got a scene with an animation in there. I'll just click start streaming and the stream goes out from OBS. Okay. You got a green square. And because I added a title and a description, the go live button in the lower left hand corner is blue. If you don't have a description or a title in there, this button will not be clickable. So that's why we added that title and description first. I'll hit go live and we are live. You'll see a end live button that is red in the lower corner and a timer that's clicking by the times that you're live. If you don't see that, you're not live. Now, if you followed along with this tutorial and you're a little bit confused because you don't see the buttons that I'm showing you in this tutorial, that usually will mean that you are required to take an extra step so that you meet the requirements of Facebook to post to your custom page. Apparently, people have been doing some nefarious stuff with their pages, and so Facebook requires that you have set up two-factor authentication, number one, and number two, you need to have the Facebook application installed on your phone, and location services must be turned on. When you do those two things, then you'll be able to live stream to your custom page. All the buttons that I'm talking about will reveal themselves, and you'll be good to go. So if you're looking to get a little more information on how to do this, I found a page that describes all that good stuff. I found it right here. It highlights what you need to do. It's not difficult. I will put a link in the description to this information so that you can get more clarity on it. It'll take you about, I don't know, five to 10 minutes, maybe even less, not even that, to set this up. And once you get it all set up, you'll be good to go.